This is the Parker Ingenuity 5th Technology Pin introduced in 2011. It is engraved with the Parker logo and of course the ubiquitous Parker Arrow clip. It has the Parker logo engraved in the cap end. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. It weighs in at 1.15 ounces. A bit of a heavy uh, pin, but I like the heaviness. It seems to write better. It's interesting, it is um, what you would think it would be gold plated, but it is not. It's actually a process called physical vapor deposition or PVD. It makes it harder and more durable than electroplate, so it'll wear better. I guess this process is also used on medical tools for wear resistance. It does have the pull off cap as I just showed you a few times, so that makes it nice. It writes extremely well posted with the cap posted on the back of the pen. Um, so you can kind of see that that would be a great balance there. Um, the fifth technology is an evolution be beyond the fountain pen, ballpoint pen, rollerball, and mechanical pencil. What it's supposed to do is actually this hood here, it's a metal hood that covers the feed. It's supposed to interact so that it flexes, but as you can see you have to exert a lot of pressure before it bends, and even then it doesn't really bend. So I'm not quite sure that it um, would qualify as a fountain pen. Um, or anything near it in terms of a writing experience just because it is um, a completely different experience. Not bad, just different. Um, the refill, as you can see on the inside here, we'll open this up. The refill is a Parker 5th um, refill. I'll take that out so you can see. It's just the section there. It is flexible. Those nibs make it flexible or those little fins. Um, you just plug it right into the nib and our metal hood, I would call it. It's not really a nib. And then we'll reassemble that so you can see. It writes more like a fiber tipped pen than a fountain pen, for sure. Um, the big difference is there is no odor when you write with this pen, like there might be with a Sharpie or a different felt tip pen. And uh, there's no bleed through to the back of the paper. When I did a comparison of this pen on my website to a felt tip pen, uh, big market to be exact. Um, the big market of stank. <laughs> it, it has a definite odor and it bled through the page ridiculously where this didn't bleed through at all and had actually a richer line on it. So um, it, again, it works more like a fiber tipped pen than a, than a fountain pen. Um, but you do have to hold it a little more upright than you do a normal fountain pen. That's for sure. A, a normal um, fountain pen, you would probably use it like this angle right here. But on the Parker Ingenuity, you need to hold it more upright as a ballpoint would. So let me just show you Parker Ingenuity 5th technology. So if you want more detailed close-up photos of a writing sample as well as the actual nib and hood design and how that looks, you can just check out my website at uh, bestfountainpen.com and you, you can see a lot more pictures and close-ups of this beautiful pen.